people waking up on it. An everyday garden snail who by twist of fate becomes infused with nitrous oxide, allowing him to zoom around at insane speeds. Yes, the animated kids flick Turbo hits theaters this weekend. And your movie friend, Aaron Dicer, is with us this morning. Give us the scoop here. Uh, Turbo is kind of like racing itself. There are plenty of fans because of the speed and the adrenaline. Mm -hmm. but there are also people who are like, they're just making left turns. They're going around in circles. <laughs> the movie feels a little bit like that in mm -hmm. that there's a lot of fun adrenaline and speed to this movie. It's a kid's movie, you know, right, animated, right, that right. kind of thing. Uh, but at the same time, you've seen it a million times before. They're kind of going around in circles. Right. You know, so as it were. when you take your kids, are the adults going to enjoy it at all? That's a great question. Um, this is one that I think there is a little bit of something that adults can get from it. Like mm -hmm. I said, it's exciting and there is some humor in it. It's not a great movie. Again, it's uh, you know kind of a recycled plot. I mean, we've seen the animal with superpowers from Dumbo to Airbud. You mm -hmm. know, I mean, it's been with us for right. a while. So. Yes. Um, but I don't think you're going to be completely bored out of your skull as a parent. And it look, the animation on it looks pretty, pretty darn cool. Is you know, it worth the, seeing in the 3D? Yes, I think it is. And that is one of the great things about these kids' movies that keep coming out. They've really nailed the animation on these things, and they're yeah. really gorgeous. A lot of those racing scenes, a lot of adrenaline and a lot of fun. And in 3D, it's even better. So. The kids are going to, you know. Oh, my boys loved it. Yeah. I mean, they came. They, there's some sort of YouTube auto-tune remix of a song called The Snail is Fast. They were singing it for like two days afterwards. So um, <laughs> yeah, it's, they had a blast. All right, so give us your best thing, worst thing, and final grade. Best thing about Turbo is the speed. Like we talked about, just kind of that adrenaline that goes with it is a lot of fun. Worst thing, I would say it's that formula. Uh, it just feels like you've been there before, you've seen this before, you know exactly what's going to happen. Uh, still, I would say probably around a B minus. B minus. Yep. All right, B minus for Turbo. OK, movie number two. Marvin gave her a gun. Was it loaded? Yes. Yes. Are you being controlling? No. Well, All right, Bruce Willis and John Malkovich back together for Red 2, the sequel to hit surprise uh, 2010 hit. It was quite fantastic then, I suppose. Willis plays Frank, an ex-CIA agent who's once again pulled into all sorts of action and adventure. Uh, another blockbuster on our hands. Yeah, this is one that, that if you like the first, there are a lot of things that you're going to like about Red 2, the sequel. Um, it kind of reminded me of the group of friends that you really enjoy hanging out with. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't really matter where you go. Mm -hmm. So a lot of those things you usually care about in a movie, right. you just don't care because you're hanging out with people you love. These people are so fun to see on screen. Their chemistry is really good, and uh, they've been given really clever things to say, and so uh -huh. it's kind of funny. So you're laughing enough that even though you know there's no real plot to it, it's kind of paper thin they're just kind of you know throwing things against the wall I mean it's it's still worth at least for me I had a good time anyways okay so a lot of the critics are not liking this one but this critic is yeah I think I think if you look at it as was this a well-made movie no it really wasn't there's a lot of bad things about it but if you go into it going am I gonna have a good time mm -hmm. you just might it's kind of one of those movies you walk up going did I really enjoy that you know, because I, I really feel like I have a big grin on I my did. face. I'm I, not sure. I think I had a good time, but it's it's not a well done film, but it is fun. Okay, so uh, people are wondering, do the actors phone it in on this one, so to speak? Yeah, they kind of do. But again, it kind of doesn't matter. You know, right. it's it's one of those things where because they're likable, they're likable and people, and if you've got a you. great group of friends and you're hanging out with them, it really doesn't matter where the road trip's going to. <laughs> is there a, a target audience, so to speak? People who love the first one, people uh -huh. who love these actors. Do you actors. have to have seen the first one? Um, no, I don't think so. Although they do make they do that do that sequel thing where they make reference to the first one sometimes, but I don't think you have to have a you know a knowledge of it necessarily. To okay, enjoy we're it. getting the hard rap here. Best thing, worst thing, final grade. Best thing is the writing. It's very clever and fun. Uh, the worst thing, like I mentioned, is the mm -hmm. plot. There isn't one. And uh, overall, <laughs> uh, I would give it a B. All right, B. Yep. Average. All right. Thanks, Aaron. Yep. We'll be right back.